Well, hello there and welcome to the C of the Champions League. We are back for another enthralling instalment for 2024. Couldn't be any more exciting as Pogba and Ankara have made their way to Piacenza for a clash of the Titans on the opening evening of the Men's Champions League. So there's the head coach, uh, Slobodan Kovic of Holtbank Hegra making his way into the arena just a short while ago. And uh, if you're looking for a team of uh, all stars, Piacenza are not far away at all. Holtbank Hegra come into this game with a third place finish in the Champions League just last year. And, uh, for Mr. Lucarelli walking in, he is no stranger to this competition. But they have a fair share of uh, a mixture of superstars and of youth as well. Talking of superstars, Robert Landy, Simon, led by this man, Andrea Anastasi. Slobodan Kovac, uh, you return uh, to Italy as a uh, rival. Um, how do you see this uh, Champions League uh, for uh, High Bank Ankara? Well, our group is uh, strong, it's really difficult, uh, especially because we have some uh, Italian <laughs> team like Piacenza, and everybody say now in this moment Piacenza is first, uh, you know, maybe uh, first team to maybe be champion of the Italy this year. Uh, the other side, Halbank, have important players, and uh, you know, we don't come here to see the volleyball, we come here to play and to fight and to try to take a good result. After eight years, uh, the Champions League uh, returns to Piacenza with uh, another uh, uh, society. Uh, what is the atmosphere like and uh, what do you expect? Okay, first of all, I'm really happy to be here to play this competition because, in my opinion, it's the best competition that you can play. And, of course, with my team, with my club, we are here for to try to do our best. And uh, there is excitement, there is uh, emotion, there is uh, really big energy inside the team, and I hope that uh, is enough for a win. Well, a little look inside the whole bank Ankara dressing room. Irvin Ingepeth, the first picture. And Amir Abdul Aziz, two absolute forces of nature that should start on either flank this evening, and they represent the best hope of Ankara leaving Piacenza with a victory. Ingepeth, a two time runner up in this competition, Abdul Aziz, uh, a former runner-up as well, but this evening it will be tough in Piacenza with the side that they have. Yes. Piacenza at home, and we've already talked about the importance of uh, Robert Landy, Simon, and Randy Liao, but also uh, that man there, Ricardo Lucarelli. Someone who uh, played for Trentino right to the closing stages of this competition just a couple of years ago. But for them, two losses in the Italian League, not the best at preparation for this evening as uh, the captains, Namir Abdul Aziz on the left, the opposite spiker, former setter, and, uh, Olympic gold medalist. We haven't mentioned it yet, Antoine Bizarre, who uh, is just getting better and better. Well, here we go, the fourth round of the Champions League. It's the big round starting now. Paul C, Piacenza up against Holtback Ankara in what is a clash of two titans. 
Well, 20 teams take part in the league round where they're split into five groups. And teams will be looking to uh, get their way to the quarterfinals, but having a look at Pool C, Piacenza, Holbach, Ankara, but also Berlin and Benfica make up the pool. As uh, Slobodan Kovic was saying, it's a tough pool where you're going to have to be at your very, very best. Well, the opening round of fixtures uh, this week, so nothing will be decided, that's for sure. But uh, they'll be wanting to get off uh, to a good start. Each pool contested six-leg double round robin home and away format. Well, we're expecting a full house here in the Emilia Romana region of northern Italy. Piacenza will be the favourites here at home. They're a relatively new team uh, to the world of volleyball. But they have uh, superstars in their roster. Their debut season was uh, in 2018-19. But, well, for their opponents here this evening, Ankara, they reached the semi-finals of the Champions League last season where they lost to uh, Yashemsky Wengel. Anastasi, formerly of Perugia, the head coach last year, making his way to come uh, to Piacenza. While Namir Abdulaziz uh, took a silver medal in this competition for Cuneo all the way back in 2012. And funny enough, in that same team was Irvin Engerpeth, uh, still looking for his first Champions League gold medal, the MVP of the Olympic Games where France uh, took the gold. And on the opposite side of the net will be Antoine Brizard this evening. Slobodan Kovac, I mean, he's had some big jobs formerly of Skra. He's now in Turkey, but also uh, a very good and experienced coach. Uh, there is Antoine Brizard. And he has some uh, firepower on the wings this evening. We've got Yoandi Liao. And Luca Rally up against uh, Irvin Engerpeth and probably Gore Perrin, you'd think, on the outside, the Canadian outside. And then Robert Landy Simon also will play a big part as uh, there is Luca Rally, best outside hitter in the Olympic Games, Olympic gold medalist uh, from Rio. Or Volcan Donne, he's played for eight different clubs, the Libero for Holbank. Ankara, 36 years old, but Namir. Abdulaziz, as we've spoken about already. Second season here. And if this man's serve is uh, firing up this evening, the passing unit of Piancenza must be very, very wary. We expect a big serving, a big physical battle between the two teams. Number four, well, four. Fabrizio Gironi played against Perugia at the weekend in the opposite position. As there was no uh, usual opposite in Yuri Romano. It'll be interesting to see if uh, Gironi gets the nod again this evening. Just 23 years old. Luckily they have firepower as we mentioned all the way around the court. Randy Liel. Cuban descent, but now uh, representing Brazil for some time with Lucarelli. You just feel that they have such an aggressive spine to their team with Robert Landy, Simon, Liao, Lucarelli. Fabio Ricci could play in the middle, but they also have uh, some height in uh, Robert Andringa on the outside. Uh, Dutch outsider who came off the bench against uh, Perugia at the weekend. But they got off to a perfect start in the league, Piacenza, but they've, uh, well, struggled with losses against Trentino 3 1 and also uh, Perugia 3 2. So they'll be looking to bounce back again after a couple of disappointing results in the league where uh, Holbank anchor it. Well, they got off to a very good start. They beat Zirat, who have uh, won the last three. They're rivals in Ankara, but 
They beat them in the first round of the league, but lost in the Super Cup already this year. But currently they are undefeated in the league and they would love to leave here with a victory. Well, for Piacenza, led by Anastasi Liao, number nine, and Robert Landy Simon last won the Champions League with Lube in 2019. The last team to win this competition, that's not Zaxa. And for Ankara, well, nine remain from the Champions League bronze last year. But Irvin Engerpeth is uh, the big arrival this year and he'll be looking uh, to stake a claim this evening and certainly make his presence felt he's so creative and he's absolutely incredible Gord Perrin number two also back in Turkey for a second stint Piacenza versus Halkback Ankara in the Champions League you wouldn't want to be anywhere else would you on a Wednesday evening it's back the most prestigious club competition in the world. It's a heavyweight battle. And for Piacenza, they become the 10th Italian club to feature in the Champions League group stage, equaling the record by teams from Russia. Well, Turkey are growing in the sport of indoor volleyball, winning the Challenger Cup this year, beating Qatar and also the European Golden League. A third last year for Halkbank was an incredible result. And they're even stronger this year. All eyes on Engerpeth this evening. Struggling with a knee injury all summer. Was on the bench for large periods of uh, Euro volley. Almost forced his way on to the court for the bronze medal match. But he's fit. He's ready, and the Champions League has returned. Proud evening here in Piacenza. Their first ever Champions League evening. Prestigious, historic, as the teams shake hands before going into battle. Well, we expect to see Abdulaziz start on the right side. That battle on the right against the likes of Liao and Lucarelli. My word, that right to left battle is uh, mouth watering already as the presentations uh, before the start of the game. Well, Piacenza was built off successful businessmen and citizens decided to establish the club in 2018 and they're already in the Champions League with some of the very best in the world playing for them. Tunisia, Avuka from Bosnia and Vasilios Vasilidis from Greece are referees for this one. The question is, uh, it looks like Gironi starting number four looks ready to rumble, doesn't he? That means that there's still no uh, Romano. But first of all, we're going 
to meet the visitors who, uh, again, Turkish fans travel everywhere for their volleyball. And uh, John Gore Perrin didn't start in the opening game of the season against Zirat, but he gets the nod tonight. Experienced Canadian outside. Mert Matic, 2-11 in the middle. It's going to be interesting to see how he moves at the speed of Brizard's game. Engelpeth starting on the outside. It's looking like a strong one. Mika Ma, the American setter, who just keeps getting better and better as the seasons roll on, is it? Umbaj is also starting the outside hit of the three-time Turkish league champion. And the libero is uh, Volkan Doné, but they have uh, Dennis Elgin as well. Well, Dogakan Ulu, the second middle blocker. They are big in the middle, but it'll be interesting to see how they fare with the likes of Lucarelli and Liao on the outside. Mika Ma, his second season here, having had a very good summer with the US national team as well. Well, the first team ever to represent Piacenza in the Champions League. Proud moments all around. As Liel gets an Oprizard, Robert Landy, Simon, they've been the whole way to glory with what was a team of all-stars with Lube in 2019. There is a start for the Italian national team, Libero Leon, Scanferla, and uh, Eduardo Caneschi starts in the middle as well so it looks like it is exactly the same team that took on Perugia at the weekend and fell three sets to two still no Yuri Romano in the side Gore Perrin on your picture Slobodan Kovac who we've already spoken about back in Italy having had a successful playing career here as well Andrea Anastasi. Is there anything that man hasn't done? Formerly of Perugia, world champion in his own right. I'll say, yeah, on the bench. They have some options as well. Hold back, Mercer or Mercer. Agondizia, the brother of uh, Addis, who's now playing uh, for Lube. It would be interesting to see how he fares, one of the best players in the world at this moment in time. But will the pass hold up this evening from Luca Reddy and Liao? How will Fabrizio Gironi fare on that right side? 18 points against Perugia. Liao with 24. As uh, the very tall Mert Macic gets us underway in the Champions League here in Piacenza. The first ball out of system and out of uh, the back for Gironi. And that's almost uh, the perfect start with Engapet on the front court. Just expect some creativity from uh, Engapet. Always uh, expect the unexpected as the 211 Matic gets ready to serve once more. It's going to be interesting to see how he fares in the blocking phase of the game, but Scanferla gets the ball in to a good zone and the pipe is open for business. The speed of uh, Brizard finding you, Andy Liao. Four-time world club champion, two-time Serie A winner and uh, just the speed that they're going to operate underneath the guidance of this man will be exciting to watch. best server last season in the Italian league, uh, Brizard. First block for Piacenza. And that's uh, on Engapet as well. Well, it's uh, Gironi blocking. And trying to go quick to Engapet, who we've seen for so many years change up the speed of his arm and get creative and change direction of the ball to try and cause issues for blockers. That time, Gironi was there. It was insistent. Scanferla with a good dig, but Abdelaziz uh, also making a good play. Tip from Engapet to position one, trying to make it difficult and take Brizard out the game, but it doesn't matter. Lucarelli. 
again. The ball's way inside for Engapet. He gets his feet there, but he can't do anything with it. But everybody's expecting the hammer on the outside from Lucarelli. And it's a tip that does the business. Piacenza here again. Brizard has an extremely good serve on him. Engapet served inside. They're trying to unsettle Engapet in the pass here. In the well, that's why you need handsome split on the net at this level because uh, Engapet brought to the inside that's almost him out of the attack but with the mirror on the 10 it's almost like having three front court attackers this is the pass that Piacenza would have wanted colossal into the angle but Engapet is there Perrin almost out the back and I think this is exactly what we signed up for this evening My word, big hammer from the left side. Lucarelli's back to serve. Once again, the service pressure's there for the first time. Hogbank can run the middle. They tight set this time. Hang on, Nimi is chasing the touch here. Anastasi's also not best pleased. Have a challenge uh, off the bat. Namir not too uh, pleased. Brazil's taking a little bit of feedback uh, from Kaneshi. I mean, 205 in the middle, Kaneshi. Also, uh, Fabio Ricci's at 205 too. Also, an option on the bench, but Matic at 211. They have some big players. Hogbank certainly not short in physicality with this man on the right side either. They're looking for a block touch here. Big mother's meeting going on in the opening phases. But how about the service run from Brizard so far? Liao, who uh, well, came with Robert Landy Simon, didn't he? Uh, both previously before going to Italy at... Uh, Sada Cruzario, where they had success in the World Club Championships and in South America. Now uh, they've been setting Serie A alight for a very long time. Well, it's almost time for the away leg. Question is for a block touch. The set was mega tight, wasn't it? So. Uh, Definitely would be looking for the hands. Droni's uh, cracking the odd joke. I'm excited to see uh, how this pool stage is uh, go with uh, Paul B, Libuana, Rezov, Tors, and Trentina. Here we go. Was there a touch? We've got the camera working. Last touch, Ankara. No touch off of uh, Gironi. And it's missed by many a mile. Excited to see uh, Zaxa back in action. Uh, Nat Rosselaire, Olympiakos and Zirat, which uh, won't be an easy place to go. But Zaxa are looking to win this competition for a fourth time in a row, which would uh, equal the record by Zenit Kazan, the glory years of uh, Leon. Some great memories uh, through the years of the Champions League. That final against Lube was uh, a special one. Piacenza up by three. With the Brazilian uh, powerhouse Luperelli. Out of system this time. Engapeth uh, steps in. There's one off the block. Scam Furler. What a touch that is. 
and then it's flipped the, to the reverse by Brizard, but that's tight. That's a much better set this time to the outside, but still no good uh, for Ankara. Very good on the wing. And Liao and Lucarelli working together on the wing for Piacenza is dangerous. Good work from the middle, getting across and uh, slowing the game down, but in transition to bang the line like that. Incredible. Lucarelli, Trentino, then to Lube, now uh, Piacenza. Played in Brazil between uh, 2008 and 2020. But, I mean, we could talk about him all day in his uh, plaudits, but the Olympic Games in 2016 was uh, very much a highlight. Engapet, the MVP of uh, the past Olympics in Tokyo. Big block on the outside. Is it still alive? Yes. Oh, huge. Namir Abdelaziz has just absolutely planted one on Piacenza. Big cover from Mika Mar, but a huge block from Namir. And that might just be what gets this uh, holdback anchor up. Team off the mark and flying. Engapet with a good serve, but the pass is uh, in a good zone, smuggled through. that the Mir was expecting uh, the hammer from the owl but the owl uh, mixes up his attacks uh, very well Lucarelli still on the back courts as well as uh, Mir through the right side oh my word and when Ankara passed this well straight down uh, the liberos or right in the bread basket but at the same time when the ball's in front of the mirror and he has all of his options available at that speed it's going to be very very difficult Dr. Kang Ulu with the service this is a big point here the mirror gets the ball again two from two this time off the block fast arm beating the speed of the hands of the Piacenza blockers and they'll be delighted. Two up in the block. Droni stopped and uh, I think they'll be trying to force as much play through that right side as possible this evening. They'll fancy their chances uh, to stop the right, right side, the youngster. Oh, slapped off the hands. Again from Liao. Uli with the serve uh, to the inside of Liao, who has to try and work for his rhythm. Unsure of how many uh, cross-court angles he has there, but he's working with so much speed and he's just looking for the hands of Namir. Both teams are looking to work the front-court receiver early on here. Overpass. It's interesting because uh, we're still very much in the early stages of this game and it's Engapev's overpass that gets dealt with, but passing aggressively certainly isn't a bad thing necessarily all of the time. If you're passing off the net, the setter's options are limited. Jerome, Engapeth's getting a lot of the ball, isn't he? Overloading Engapeth here. Scanferla is out of system. Liao again, who's just colossal every single time. And up steps uh, Gord Perrin. First one of the evening. Best outside hitter in the Russian Cup. He's played in eight different countries, uh, Per, and he's incredibly well travelled in this sport. We feel that his role in this team is just about perfect with uh, Engapet next to him. Crash helmets on. This is exactly what Namir can do. Toss is good, everything's going through the ball. It'll be interesting to see Piacenza if uh, their passing unit 
does get under a little bit of pressure. There's four in the past because uh, Jeroni's usually an outside hitter as well, so they can afford to uh, have four in. But it's another transition play, pairing two from two this time. You see the work he does off of the ball to kick out. Doesn't get a full approach, but ends up turning it into the angle. And the mirror is on absolute flames here as well. This time in system. And Robert Landy Simon has been set once in this game so far. And he's been roofed by Mert Matic. Maybe predictable, but it's the wider set. So the work off the ball from Matic is absolutely sublime. Namir is already cooking. And we're only in the opening set. Another race from the mirror. Are you not entertained at the moment? Bosch. He goes on the hour, he goes on Lucarelli, he goes on Gironi, it doesn't matter. He's finding success. Off of all of the passing units of Piacenza. Timeout, Anastasi. We all know why that is. Well, Namir is, uh, I would say, one of the best servers of this entire generation. 202 centimetres, athletic high. But he hasn't won a league title since uh, the Dutch Eredivisie in 2009. Where he won that for Appledore. And in the end, that timeout for Manastasi proves to be a very, very good one. He's won the best server award, European Champs, VNL, best opposite in Euro Volley 2021 as well, when the Netherlands took a fifth, but already this evening he's uh, proved his worth to this team. He's actually part of the Dutch side that beat Turkey in the Golden League in 2012, Namir, and uh, it's a big result for Dutch volleyball. If you remember, played for uh, that's a challenge, but that one's way, way, way gone, but that's actually the team that he played for in 2014-15, included uh, Zagumni, Dick Coy, great outsider. Well, what a treat. We have Namir, followed by Liao. Liao again goes after Engerpet as they've gone through so far, and Matic, oh dear. He's just made a monster block on the wider set where he's had to move laterally. And now Engerpet gets the ball in and he just turns one over his left shoulder. That is nasty. To turn that angle away from uh, one of the best middle blockers this game's ever seen is uh, something. Droni stop. Transition again. Namir tracks that ball beautifully. Mika Mark. Does a good job here of uh, under pressure in transition, keeping everything pretty simple and just laying it on a plate for Namir to stay high off the top of uh, Robert Landy Simon. Overpass this time from Piacenza. Through the pipe, it's quick. Scan further. Out of system. This is a huge opportunity. Anchor of come out of the traps flying here and you've got to be worried if you're Piacenza. Robert Landy Simon there blocking a position two. I think anyway. I'll have to have another look. Sorry, no. Robert Landy Simon staying in the middle where he should be and uh, getting tooled off the hands. Perrin won 
the Challenge Cup with Belgorod when he was uh, on that stint in Russia. And funny enough, Slobodan Kovic uh, was the coach of that Belgorod side. So you can see why he's brought his outside man with him here to anchor. Obviously, uh, a great level of trust in the professionalism of Perrin and what he can do for this side. Play in the mirror this time off the antenna, one would say that. And they've done all this hard work so far. Mar with good whip from that ball. And they may trying to crush it off the top of the hands again, but finding the antenna. Well, Robert Landy Simon also doesn't have a bad serve in his locker either. 15 awards in six seasons uh, in Italy. Great serve from Simon. Play perfect from Hautbank. It really is. Donne with uh, a solid platform on the ball. He's falling away, but he manages to keep the platform out. Mar just flips that ball reverse five or six metres. Everything's drifting left. Flips it back right. Namir has uh, everything in front of him to do what he likes. Three point game. Ankara. Certainly come out of the traps flying here. Wow. Lucarelli has just gone sharper than sharp here. And in an out of system ball, this angle is obviously not impossible, but it's pretty difficult work. Two up in the line, nothing wrong from Ankara, but just too good from Lucarelli. Perrin now the target. Engerpeth uh, out of system, works off the hands. Namir goes for power, but there's one back. Oh, hold on. Lucarelli's having a little look around. Did that come down on his own side of the net? I think we should have uh, another look. I think it's uh, for. Lucarelli. Paul Perrin's uh, getting stuck into it. We're still underway as we're looking at the replay, but it doesn't matter. It's another one to help bank. And you have to say they've been very good value so far. We've seen some uh, superstar stuff from Piacenza, but we've seen Namir take the ball by the horns and uh, that run of serves a different so far. Invece noi o le buttiamo di là o le buttiamo sul 9 metri. Quindi già all'inizio non va bene. Secondo gol ci vuole personalità in battuta questa partita. Non dobbiamo giocare ai due allora. Qui ci vuole personalità. Dai, calma, dai, 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 Been a tough couple of weeks for Piacenza, but right now they have to dig pretty deep because uh, they've been under the pump. Mika Mark finding Mika Christensen for a spot for the USA national team, serving us underway to the middle, and that's twice that Blizzard's gone to the middle and twice that Piacenza have been stopped. First time. Simon, second time, Kaneshi. Brizard's trying to force it. It's a five point lead. Back in system. Going back to the right wing this time. Brizard flips it back, makes the block go one way and then back the other. But it's only a tip from that right side. Chenzo look a little bit stunned here. It's uh, Doggy Kanulu with the sharp tip, I think. Uh, uh, no, of course, it's Engelbeck with the sharp tip. Whenever, when everyone gets creative out there, he's of course going to be in the thick of it. I have to say, there is never a dull moment with Engelbeck. Uh, 
and it's nice to see him back at full throttle in a Euro volley where he was really suffering with that knee injury. Pass from the middle in the second tempo. Hype attack is uh, money making. For the flag Dutchman, Robert Andringa is uh, in. Played for Olsten last year. But can't stop uh, this run of rhythm and form. Andre have perfect passing again. Nobody's uh, second ball, not in front of uh, Andringa at six. So difficult for anyone to recover. That's a good serve. There's a cluster of players in position two, and Engapes just hit one right in there. He's positioned perfectly in that deep angle as well. Going for the tip again. They're looking for some sort of net touch here. Engapes might just uh, start to get fired up here. A few puzzled looks from uh, Piacenza. Great speed of the pipe from Mikamar trying to run Engapet to his strengths, run him fast, let him get tippy, let him get creative off the hands. Challenges for a net touch. Something big here. Wado uh, Kaneshi into the net this time, and almost uh, Piacenza is surrendering this opening set here at home. They just seem to have uh, been rocked by Namir. In comes uh, the second set, Aslan Exi, who's a CV Cup winner with Hank Malk in uh, 2012. Also, uh, Serhat Joshkin as well, the second opposite. Another one who played in that CV Cup winning team with Hot Bank in 2012. Reed Pretty, another one that played in that team. Obviously, isn't playing tonight, but a fantastic player. Perrin shut down, Robert Laddy Simon. And they need something to fire up the furthest Piacenza, don't they? And Robert Landy. Watch the work he does off the ball. Cross step, gets across, drops the hands inside. And I think uh, that's the first time that Perrin's been stopped. He's had a great opening set called Perrin. Gironi. Still uh, a youngster. Big shell uh, to fit into, doesn't he? He's very, very athletic. 18 points at the weekend where Namir crash helmets on everyone because uh, Namir and his early run of serves, probably the key difference here. It was a service run that certainly brought the Piacenza boat, wasn't it? Aces off Liao, aces off of Lucarelli. Piacenza constantly out of system because of the good work from uh, Namir. Francesco Riccini off the bench uh, in his third season. The outside. So there's been a couple of changes from Anastasi already. Both of the outsides are off, and you feel that's just to bring some stability to the pass. But that was the one thing that really stood out to me in this matchup is that if Ankara 
can serve, as well as they, as well as they currently are, there'll be a struggle for Lucarelli and Liel. You can keep Robert Landy Simon quiet. Easier said than done. Then you have half a chance. Flip to the outside, one on one. Big Mo with a perfect set, eight or nine meters from the right side. Gironi. Donay with another good dig. He's done well there, the Turkish Libero once again. Have a look, he takes two or three steps to the inside. Smart from Donay. We're gonna focus on him, not Namir. There's so many players would still sit on the line there, but he knows that the armor drone is gonna come cross body and now Ankara have set point. And that sort of work from Donay is the stuff that they've done beforehand, knowing that it's not gonna go away from the body in those situations. The libero uh, certainly has had a good start here. Well, Brizard goes out the back and hug back Ankara. The Champions League third place team from last season have won the opening set here in Italy. A surprise maybe to, for some, maybe for others. Sebastian Kovac will be over the moon because it was one way traffic 25 19. And Astassi was the one making the changes. Let's see what set two gives us. The stats from set number one, well, 14 winning attacks from Ankara, two aces to zero. The error count is the same, but so far, this is not the uh, performance that Piacenza would have wanted in their debut in the Champions League. Well, some highlights of a great Hulk Bank performance in the opener. They know they have what it takes to come to Italy and upset the party in Piacenza. Their first set performance would have delighted their head coach, Slobodan Kovac, who said they were here for a performance. They know they're in the lion's den, but they're looking pretty comfortable here at the moment. Well, there's so much to discuss, really. The pass certainly got there for Ankara, didn't it? Engerpet pairing solid in a... be back here with you for what we heard uh, Anastasi say in the pre-match interview as the biggest club competition in world volleyball I think everyone gets excited by the Champions League and if you don't well then I'm sure you're not watching
Resort. Looking to serve us uh, underway, sharing that setting spot for France with uh, Benjamin Toniuti. That's some good depth, isn't it, for uh, Gianni? Top four finish for France. Uh, as they look to obtain their Olympic gold medal at home Olympic Games in uh, the summer. Middle's been uh, worked in early on. Mike's just as good as using the middle in my head. That's a huge hammer, I think, off the face that the owl takes uh, Volcan Donnet's head off. Oh, we didn't quite get the view that we uh, would have wanted. From there, but Brizard, as we spoke about, a very, very good server. Donnet with a perfect pass, and this has been very much a trademark of Hulk Bank so far. Both teams using the pipe. In turn, uh, if you use the pipe early on, it's going to hold the opposition middle blocker. It's going to allow you to go to the wings and get some one-on-one -on -one situations. And uh, Perrin, an issue with uh, some good blocking work as well before Scanferla just reacts and scoops one up. A little bit unorthodox, but a great dig all the same. Be very patient when there's a touch off the block of defense. Matic. Big unit, isn't he? We have some uh, big players. Eunice Emre uh, Tayaz, also 2 to 6 uh, on the bench, who won the Challenge Cup of Fenerbahce. Also come on uh, and add to this equation later on. He's uh, won a silver in the CV Cup with uh, Anchor as well. He lost to Belgorod as a team that included Bartosz Kura actually. Lucarelli, we've seen some uh, heroic work on the net, but they could do with uh, a few runs, a run of serves from Lucarelli, and that's a good start. It's exactly what Ankara wouldn't have wanted after winning that first set so comfortably. You can always expect uh, high-level teams to fight straight back, can't you? Key characteristic of uh, even making it to this level is the ability to compete. Lucarelli with another huge serve, smart. Mika Ma has just had Andy Liao on toast. Tight play. And how often in those 50-50 situations do you see the smaller player actually go low and fast off the hands? Or off the arms. Smart serve on Liao. Trying to force the play to Jeroni. We spoke about that previously, didn't we? It's a really smart play. Ma with the short serve. All of a sudden Liao's out. Lucarelli's on the reverse pipe and almost the hands forced to go to Gironi and there's two blockers waiting. Get the front court receiver under enough pressure and force the hand of Brizard to go to Gironi and see what he's got. Another short play, everybody's aware of it. This time Liao has to find something from nothing but he's out of rhythm and in turn Halbank strike again. Mars serving here, doing all sorts of damage, not just to the passing unit of Piacenza, but to the offensive systems. It's a fast set from Rizard, and Liao's uh, still recovering from having to pass the ball before he spikes it. Absolutely insane. Even before Namir put the ball on the floor, you could sense it. 
the tempo of the pass from Engerpet. It's on the perfect line to three. And Amar just sends it crossbody over the left shoulder. Namir is flying. And if Namir's on a heater, if Engerpet is staying consistent, as he is at the moment, passing really well. Everything opens up for Mika Mar. Really. Again, Enga Pet just really makes it look easy. It's a great serve. And it's Perrin that puts the ball away here. But what we're seeing is that actually Piacenza are bringing their service game. But Engerpet is just making it look incredibly easy. So relaxed in the shoulders. It almost looks casual, but it really isn't. Again, Joust. Grisada taken out of the setting duty due to playing defense. He gets his hands on this one, forces the ball to Jordi again, and that ball's uh, a little bit inside. And that's the problem when the ball's coming from position six to a right sider. The chances of it dropping inside is higher, and the, the line is taken out of play. You just feel that well, there's certainly no line there, it's inside, and whether he's looking for the hands on the sideline, it doesn't matter. Ankara have the lead here. Luca Reddy does the passing, Liao. Slaps the ball away in the sharper angles, and this really is bread and butter work from the hour one on one. All the angles open, and that's down to the pass of Luca Reddy. Pass in a great spot, the middle has to hold. And the middle has held uh, in the opening set for Anchor and made two blocks. This time, the pass isn't perfect for him. Anchor, but Engerpet puts the ball in off the free ball nicely. And Perrin with a little bit of a plus league style volley off the hands of Grizzard. We see this from the likes of Fornau and Slivka all the time, but that was because the set was a little bit tight. For an Anchor fan, you are going to be more than happy. Here, 10 points already. The question is, uh, can he catch fire again from the service line like we saw in the opener? It's a great toss. Dismissed by a whisk. This is high speed from the mirror, it really is. I don't think that uh, Luca Reddy wanted a slice of that one, really. Robert Lang. Now the pass is off the net. Chance for the Piacenza blockers. There's three up. Perrin's looking for the touch. Perrin's got the touch here. I didn't think initially that he had. In those situations, this is where the outsides really earn their money. Out of system, three blockers, and trying to find a way of scoring. And the high rip is uh, one of the only options he had there. He makes uh, great decisions. Last play for Arkas in Turkey. Uh... And now uh, more joy. Have a look at this. Uh, Piacenza should be worried here because Engerpet is enjoying himself. We know that when Engerpet is enjoying himself, in a one on one situation, every time they're taking the angle away from Gironi, they're giving him the line. Even earlier on, we saw with uh, Volcan, the libero, just stepping inside and taking the cross body. Engerpet makes a late move there again. And makes that stuff work. Fading away, uh, Engerpet trying to create something from nothing. I would say that he's uh, a real god at that, Engerpet. When the chips are down, he's uh, certainly your man. Interesting to see uh, 
Alf France do fare in the Paris Olympics. They certainly still have strength in the depth needed. Poland, uh, after a sensational summer, a sensational year for Polish volleyball, really, wasn't it? VNL was one thing, but they won Euro volley in the Champions League, was an all Polish affair. So, after years of us uh, talking about Italian volleyball and Polish volleyball comparing the two, it's uh, still a debate that we can have for hours about which league is the best, the national team. Brazil certainly uh, have their fair share of class as well. Namir has just been absolutely rude. Anastasi's almost out there with them. spot the spiker any spike is gonna lose that height advantage Engelbeth again front court receiver served inside my word if you were to put Irvin Engelbeth's game into a package and sell it all over the world this would be it unreal turning into the angle tipping over the left shoulder if you did put it into a package and sell it, it'd be worth a little bit. To the middle. And I think it's taken one set and 24 points for a middle attack to be successful. Correct me if I am wrong, ladies and gentlemen. Kineshi, through the centre this time, hits the sideline. number of Piacenza in just about every competition Namir gets flappy with it on the wing oh, I think he's giving it a little bit of afters as well you're not really supposed to do that but we love it the smart thing is he's on the way down he looks slow and then he speeds up the ball with the hands Ace, nobody wants it. Everybody's looking at Brazar. And it's uh, Ankara now with a two point lead. And if it's not Namir in the opening set putting a run together, it's Engapeth here. He stepped into this game, and it, for me, it started with his passing. The thing with Engerpeth is he changes up the speed so much that it's uh, going to be difficult to get a read off of him. Engerpeth again. Ace from Engerpeth. More celebrations. Piacenza think this one's out. Scanferla's celebrating. But Engerpeth has his swag on. That is very dangerous for Piacenza, who just haven't clicked in to fifth gear yet. Oh, this is difficult. The Piacenza and their team of all stars. Engerpeth is cooking. And I think that him and Namir rub off really well on each other. 
in this team as well. First season in Turkey for uh, Hengapev. Hasn't played there before, but uh, let's just say he looks uh, more than comfortable at this moment in time. Giroud. They need something from their right side. Again, struggling with that ball back to the line. Uh, Bernie at the moment. Big moments for him. Nine service errors uh, for Anger. Piacenza with seven, but I don't have the stats in front of me. One would say that Anger have served uh, better than Piacenza here. My word! Mert Matic is on absolute flames right now. And this is smart from Kovac, smart from Matic, because the pass is in a good spot. They leave Robert Landy, he waits, and he closes up the seam on the pipe attack. Smart blocking not to go with Robert Landy, Simon. Tight play now, Piacenza are everywhere. And Ankara are having the best time. Gironi out the back, trying to access the line again. Two errors trying to go away from the body. One from the service line, but he's been dug into the crossbody multiple times already. And that continuation from Perrin was good enough. Didn't have to be too flash. Put the opposite under pressure. Machine's uh, come in. Both sets now. Droney's uh, left the court. Scan further. And it's another error, this time Lucarelli. And this Piacenza performance is just landsliding away from them. Timeout from Anastasi, hands in the pocket. Looks like a little bit of tension, even if he's not showing it. And Ankara are not making mistakes. They're putting the pressure on from the service line. Piacenza are looking at going 2-0 down at home. Well, Pacino is in. So they haven't got an opposite at the moment, hence Lucarelli is... Uh, Right side. Can Udu, another 205 centimetre middle player with the serve. Rizard goes to the outside. Engapek is reading everything. Look what the defense, how hard they work off the ball, but this time sharp into the angle. And Engapek's a little bit agitated with himself there as he can quite find a moment of uh, stability to make this dig. I mean, it is an absolute rip He might have uh, even played one that was going out. He always had a good game, though, from uh, the middle. He also certainly had the better of the game from Old Bank. Okay, Liao. In this team to come to the forefront in big moments when the chips are down. What we could do with a run of two or three at least here. Perrin manages to uh, scoop, but can he get his way out of rhythm? Yes, he can. And this is what's impressed me about Perrin so far is decision-making, when to tip and not make the error, when to stay high and work off the hands. And he's all at sea here, but he finds the ball Nikomar as well with a really good set. Great width. Namir. How are Piacenza out of system? Three up. Finding a way through Lucarelli. Big serving from Namir. And for Anastasia for Piacenza, they'll be delighted to get Namir off of the service line. Andy Simon. 
part of that Lube team with Liao that beat Zenit. The last team that weren't Zaxa to win this competition. Out of system. But Engerpet is there, relaxed again, looking for the hands. Perrin goes for the volley, looking for the block, trying to change the pace of the attack to work off the hands. There was no middle, there was no other option, but because he goes high hands, high hands, it's a really good matching play to volley low off the arms. This time, though. The block of Piacenza was there, they're back to four. Simon again with a huge serve. Perrin has to hit his way out of trouble. He does hit his way out of trouble, at least to have another crack at it. Namir now, two bits of defense from Robert Andy Simon. They're outstanding, but again, Perrin doesn't make the error. It allows uh, Ankara to maintain the advantage and build through the rally. And again, Ikamar with a perfect set across to the right side of Namir to put that away. Perrin. High first uh, ball, Brizard goes to pin. It's a very tight set from Brizard. It brings Ankara back into the game. What a play. I mean, it's a wrist away cut shot. That's uh, almost undefendable here. Scanford is waiting for the tip, as is everybody else. And to turn that angle, well, it's something that you would love to see in beach volleyball with the speed and the chop on it. Anchor are flying here. Perrin's having a worldie. Namir's having a worldie. Mikamar's linking it all together so, so well. Engerpet is on fire. The middles are working. And having won the first set to 19, all of a sudden, Piacenza are looking like They're going to fold in this second set. And at this moment in time, Piacenza needs some leaders out there. That's a big, big blow though, isn't it? But who can Brizard trust at this moment to give the ball to? with some serves. Unfortunately, you could only find a net, and that sums up this uh, first and second set for Piacenza. Hasn't worked for them. Simon, yes, a little bit, served a couple of good balls. Liao hasn't really got cooking. Nors Lucarelli, Aslan, Exchi. Coming in here. Been with Ankara since 2020. He was the best setter in the Challenge Cup when uh, Ankara lost to Narbon Volley as well. But a lot of experience, unfortunately, uh, slides this one out on set point. But he doesn't look too bothered, does he? You have to think that even here, Piacenza, if they can get back to 21, 20, just try and light something up, some joy, because there's not a lot of joy out there from them at the moment. Rizard's been stomped and it's 2-0. And after winning the opening set 25-19, Namir and Houtmak Ankara have won the second set to 80. And this is either going to be done 3-0 or it's going to go all the way to 5. Namir, brutal blow off of Brizard. And all of a sudden, away from home, Outback Ankara, yes, they took a third place finish in this competition last year, but Piacenza fancied by many to go the whole way in this competition. The 2 0 down, nine errors to six. The attack's the key, and I mean, that works uh, with the pass being so good from. How back the ace is three to zero. Shows us the intention of the likes of Engerpeth who uh, 
Blackwell had a good service run in that set as well. And this is just the wonderful thing about the Champions League, isn't it? You just never really know what's going to happen next. Anchor have come here and uh, Koblankovic played it down in the interview but his team have come out and performed to a very high level. We go to set three in a couple of minutes. of sets would also uh, be interesting to see when you're thinking about the efficiency. Robert Landy Simon does a good job of uh, coming in one way, turning the ball the other, and away from Matic who uh, had his number. Great set from Brizard, running the middle off the net and uh, firing it wide enough to get it on the path of uh, the arm of Simon. going to be the interesting part of this set because uh, Piacenza will come out fighting. You would think. We didn't see much of it in the last set at the end, but Nicomar has gone straight to the middle early on. Been impressive as uh, the American setter. Andy Simon has just been stopped again. Blizzard, you can understand why, forcing the middle early on in the set, A, because it's Robert Landy Simon, B, because he needs to free up the right side at the moment, who, uh, from this set, I think it's uh, Galat, yeah, it is Liao in this set, which he has uh, come in to the left side. So let's see how... Uh, Leon goes out there. Also remember Robert Landy Simon won best opposite in Korea a few years ago. Could be another option if he's not affecting the game in the middle, but playing Champions League and playing in Korea, two different challenges in that position. I feel that they are uh, bleeding a little bit with Romano not in the squad at the moment out of system again. Dizar goes to the outside. Engelpet is uh, there. Nikmar going to fly this one fast out of system and uh, it was too tight for Perrin but again in that situation they still managed to make a play and get another crack at it but Donne has gone to the floor for the second time. Something tells me he might enjoy playing uh, defence 
going backwards uh, on his backside. Piacenza. Cooking though, and uh, the Owls access the line slightly better than uh, Gironi did in the previous set. The bar is uh, running the middle. Engelpeth is happy with the setter. He knows that all this work from Bar is going to make his life easier when he comes to the front court. But Perrin once more is uh, on the mark. Dogan Udu, seven years at Galatasaray before signing uh, for Ankara this year. How the Piacenza fair now that the Al's playing on the right side. Already feeding the middle a lot more than we've seen previously. Lizard hasn't used it enough. Uh, Kaneshi doesn't really, of course, it matters if you get blocked, but the intent is key that you keep using it throughout the game. He played a long game through these matches. That's far better serving, isn't it? From Piacenza. No surprise that it's uh, Brizard. High toss, good hammer. The pass again. Wow! Gorperin on fire here. Relaxed in the pass, aggressive in the swing. Gets served to the inside. Mark gives him the ball back, and after feeding the middle to Matic, of course he's got the one on one on the wing. Especially when uh, Piacenza are trying to serve him out of rhythm. On the left side this time, looking for a touch. They took the touch, but it's whether it is in or out. Manage is uh, looking unimpressed. Can't wait to see how this one plays out. I would love a little look in the head of uh, Anastasi at the moment and see what he thinks. We've gone to a challenge. The ball was out, but the challenge is the same from Ankara Lucarelli. Still, Piacenza, maybe they're suffering little bit of a hangover to that defeat from by Perugia on Sunday evening. But they haven't quite looked as fired up, have they, as uh, Ankara. But that's a better serve from Luca Reddy. Now they have a chance. Well, Rashina is off the bench to bring some stability to the pass. Put the ball away like that. A one on one situation, off body swing. He's one on one against Mar, so uh, always holds the advantage in that situation. But the serving is better from Piacenza. Engapet has had a good passing game. Namir has been stopped. And here we go. The smoke in the stadium rises. Alongside the performance of the home side. The service pressure is there, a little bit out of system, or well, a little bit out of rhythm, one would say. Always becomes more difficult to find the opposite when the ball's slightly off the net to get the ball across them. Concentration, side out immediately. Most important service of Carelli is 6 5. Understand for that, don't be surprised. After time out, now, middle blocker tries to help. You have to say that Kovac is speaking a little bit of sense in there. Don't worry. Keep playing. They've worked incredibly hard the opening two sets, haven't they?
timeout doesn't subdue the service pressure though. This is far better for Piacenza. And Regina has come on. And it's looking like a different sort of thread, isn't it? Not quite as high, but does a good job making this fast forward again. Tipping on quite a sharp angle over the left shoulder. Beating the block. Coming for uh, the bar here. I think it's a quick substitution just to try and slow down this uh, onslaught from the service line that we've seen. And this is just what we haven't seen throughout this game from Piacenza. Dominate from the service line. The server block game is now firing. Lucarelli take a bow. It's the service pressure from the Brazilian that's doing the damage. Prelicina's come off the bench and he's got across well, six or seven metres with a great press into the angle. Perrin goes after him because he has to travel so far, makes it difficult to press. And in comes uh, Persia Lagavisha. Such a prestigious uh, family. Rather playing at Lube. Father Urkham was the best spiker in the European Championships in 1991. Engelpet again. Balls on the money. Looks up for it, doesn't he? Another one off the bench. Hands uh, Aslan. Interesting to see how uh, Ankara responds a few points down here. We've seen them dominate sets. It'll be interesting to see if uh, in these tough times, if the confidence is really there. And it's another ace from Piacenza. And there she delivers the goods once more. Had a good game in the middle so far. Rodo Kineshi. The serve, but he'll be delighted that he uh, snuck an ace in before missing the serve and then being uh, the bearer down. difference here in the body language of uh, Piacenza is clear to see. I think I'm going to use the same comment on Piacenza as what I just used on Hong Kong a moment ago. How are they going to be now when they're in the driver's seat? What's going to happen if uh, Ankara start to fight back? So much. Great volleyball to look forward to in the Champions League. This ball, Berlin. They've been eliminated in the quarterfinals of uh, each of the last three seasons. Always losing out to Italian sides. Not a good record there, but uh, obviously so as well. Benfica competing in the Champions League for the fourth time. Make up this group. situation. You can see there that when Mika Mark had to set him off the net, it was a problem, but when that ball's on the net, he has everything open to him. Oh, as does that man, Andy Liel. A very similar play. Ball's in the perfect spot. Hit your opposite man with a one-on-one. -on -one. Not the same angle, but one-on-one -on -one situation. For Liao and for Namir, you'd put your house on them, and rightfully so. Smart from Engelpet, just fires up off the hands, doesn't try and hit too steep. You 
just watch him play volleyball all day long, couldn't you? Tight play. Always finds a way to maintain some sort of advantage on the opposition. Which shows an incredible understanding of the game. High and wide. Big brushes on the outside and coming to the forefront from Piacenza. Great set from way downtown. Piacenza by five. And the service has uh, been a lot more effective all round. Another high play off the block, I think that's four in a row. Result, maybe a little bit of a mismatch out there. Actually, he's trying to fire everybody up out there, isn't he? Yeah. Some time ago, the won that season cup in 2012. There's no digging, Dan. Some disappointment on the face of. Uh, Hulu, but again, passing out of rhythm and then ripping that angle towards position four is just sensational. You can't put a cross court block on it really. If you do that, the lines can be far too easy. It's a far easier swing there for the grade than going into that angle. It's absolutely superb volleyball from uh, Piacenza in this set. But maybe they just needed uh, to make things difficult for themselves to then get the wheels in motion of a performance. Still no Mika Mar on the court at the moment. Independa and Namir staying in, but no Perrin either is uh, Hamza Aslan. He's only young, 18 years old, uh, Aslan, so a uh, big moment for him. It's been old, though, Rested their right side up, Piacenza. Is it because Machine is coming and changed things, or is it because they've started to find their service and their attack? Piacenza can't really put your finger on it, but it's a, a much improved performance here in set three. Even 17 12. Namir, uh, comes back into action. The mirror could certainly change the ending of this set. Could turn the tide for Ankara. Especially with a serve like that, the mirror. It's absolutely soul-destroying for a passing unit to have to deal with that. Yes, he's missed the odd one, but if it's in, watch out. Crash helmets back on for Namir. Two in a row for Namir. Surely they've got a chance of playing defense here with a pass off the net. They do make a defense. Mar chasing, scrambling to the outside. And that's a huge, huge moment. Agonesia has his chance on the wing. He tries to turn it cross body. 
and misses out. And the problem is, is that takes uh, Namir off the service line. And I think, personally, besides this set, error, and then Matic is blocked. And all of a sudden, their last uh, couple of points, they've taken their foot off the gas. And Engelbeth, you can see, is a little bit frustrated. Nicoretti, who's uh, had one great run of serves in this set already, just puts one down the center. Probably doesn't have to do too much at this time. But that was pretty high, wasn't it? Perry's one cross court for Perry. I mean, he was uh, MVP in the Brazilian Cup in 2020 and best outside hitter. So he's won awards, uh, 40 awards overall, but for Perry, the biggest result that I can remember was uh, a World League bronze when they beat the USA in 2017 underneath uh, the United system and Antigua, who uh, took the Canada job after leading Poland to the uh, World Championships, but Nick Hogue, Stephen Marshall, Graham Degrasse in that team as well. Very much underpinned uh, a very successful time for Canadian volleyball. Engerpeth won off the top of uh, the hands. And further. And it's a funny game, isn't it? The serve starts working, then the pass starts to go into a better zone. All of a sudden, the pressure's off a little bit. Scanferla scoops underneath that one, gets his shoulders forwards. And uh, I'd say Liao on this right side has certainly made a difference, hasn't he? High efficiency. Can't remember him really getting blocked. Can't remember an error out of him on this uh, right side and all of a sudden even just the small things is uh, that Kovac wouldn't have planned for Liao to play right side so there might not be a game plan for it Namir thinks he's won this one it's all Pia Chenza this one be interested to see what the game plan was on Rachina who uh, has come off the bench and maybe they just have to uh, have a rethink. Well, we go to a challenge here. Tina. Say it. Uh, enjoyed his performance immensely. He's one of uh, three world champions for Italy in 2022 in this squad. Scanferla and Romano being uh, the other two. He's part of this real impressive uh, Italian youth program. I remember at the Rio Olympics when uh, Italy looked like they were struggling. No attack line fault. But then winning the world, sorry, silver medal at the World Championships in 2019 and on the 21 level, which you know. Well, back to this, hang on. Mir is human. I think they're looking for a let here.
Yeah, I was ready to get on with it. Leo will get us back on the way. There is no replay of any point. Anastasi is uh, chatting to the bench as Perrin scrambles that ball in. Engerpeth unloads on this one. The quicker player, one on one, a better decision to go with a hammer. Defense from Engerpeth is superb. Can he find a solution? It's a cut shot again. And he's just a master of creativity in these moments first the dig and of course he wants to get the ball back and as soon as that ball comes over his right shoulder from the left side we've seen it so many times he can almost looks like he dislocates his shoulder to get it away from the body but he's also realizing at that exact moment that Scanferl is having to shuffle in a little bit to take more line as he's showing so much line and that cut shot becomes uh, more open. Well, even with a five point lead, uh, Still wouldn't say that Piacenza are out of the woods just yet. More pauses. Well, Euro Volley saw a huge success for the Turkish women's team and the atmosphere there was on an absolute another level in Brussels. It's the Ankara fans making the noise here. Okay, so it's uh, Ikemar who's got the ball ready to rumble again. Is uh, anchor it. trail by five, and the big pause didn't do any favours uh, for Mar there. Six-point game, Piacenza. Looking more home and dry by the second. Ricino has uh, made a real difference here, you have to say. He's uh, looked the real deal, now serving well. Verlet steps into the angle, that's a tight set. And uh, it's a free meal ticket for Engerpeth on the right side. Still had to be pretty quick with the arm and aggressive all the same, but Perrin just uh, passing slightly off but Namir doing a good job of uh, crushing into the angle 
This is the last chance uh, saloon with Engapeth. We know what he's capable of. Two serves in the net in a row. Not the thing of dreams uh, for Kovac. Again, another free ball. And uh, Namir and Engerpeth putting these two away in quick succession. Engerpeth again, just staying high, not looking for uh, anything too fancy. To the inside, fast. And this has been an incredibly crazy game. It could end up being very, very close without any set being close at all because uh, Piacenza backs against the wall. Have got six set points of their own. Passes in system for Engerbeth to the outside. And uh, Perrin, who started his first two opening sets really well. At the same time, uh, it's got a little bit quieter, just turns one back into the cross court. Question is, can Piacenza get this done and tested very quickly? This man will hope not. And they might just be able to apply a little bit of pressure at the back end of this sit that might just uh, tilt her over into the next one. But no, Piacenza win their first ever set in the Champions League. Better late than never this evening for them. They've started to bring their A game. Liel playing on the right side, finishes the set, hammering through on the left. And they've brought it back to 2-1 now. The lead for Halkbank Ankara. There's still a big, big job to be done by Andrea Anastasi and his team. 25-19 in the third. Anchor up, still have the advantage, but they would have loved to have got it done 3 0. Well, seven errors to three. But they brought a couple of aces or one ace to the game, more blocks, that's for sure, but the attacks have been better. They've matched Anchor in the attack phase of the game for the first time. We go to a fourth set here in Piacenza. And we hope that uh, you're comfortable because we could be here for a while longer if uh, the superstars from Piacenza bring their A game once again. Lucarelli, his service run throughout that set was uh, strong, wasn't it, in the early stages? It was set defining, I would say, in. Uh, rejuvenating this performance for Piacenza. Liao being on the right. As we have a look at Lucarelli and Engerpeth, uh, it's a pretty good comparison at the moment. 
both playing on the left side. Engerpeth had uh, the better game, that's for sure. Didn't think that Lucarelli's uh, attack efficiency was uh, so low. Engerpeth uh, starting. Because why wouldn't he? It's going to be uh, Eduardo Kaneshi to get us underway. Uh, doesn't look like there's any changes. And you'd be surprised if uh, we see Liao change uh, from playing on that right side. Liao and Simon on this right with Ruccine on the left. First point goes, anchor his way. Mike Ma back in and just uh, setting real good width, isn't he? Brizard uh, with the first touch, real good stable spot for him, but through the pipe. It's a good high rip, isn't it? Might not hit the same angles as uh, some of the other outsides on show at times, Engapeth, the Lucarelli and the Leon, but oh, eye for an eye. Tooth for a tooth. Yeah who uh, changed to the right side from Anastasi could be the magic touch that Piacenza needed in this game. Really could be. We haven't seen many passes go astray from Engelpeth. He puts his hand up with a little bit of accountability, of course. Pairing in the pass. You feel like... Some of this comes down to a service run from somebody, but Namir maybe from Ankara that could just take this game away from Piacenza in this fourth, but it's going to take something special. And somebody's letting their eyes linger through the net, and that is Irvin Engerpeth. Was it Madonna Madonna last year for two seasons? Kazan before that. Spent a fair amount of time playing in uh, Russia. Started his club career all the way back in 2006, though. Pacina. The referee is waiting a long time to make that decision. I'm intrigued to know uh, what Kovac and Ankara think about this one. Good serve. Rizada. Gets great width on the ball. And just here, is there a net touch? Yes, there is a net touch. Uh, another miss serve. And it just feels very, very calm here, doesn't it? Be the big player in this game. Regina already think he's added a lot of stability to this performance. On that left side with the power of Liao on the right. Matichu uh, had an adrenaline fall. First two sets. Is liberated off and he hasn't quite managed to establish himself in uh, set three or the early stages of set four. Good off speed serve from uh, Robert Landy Simon. Knew exactly what he was doing there. Enger Peth and Michael Mars just got caught underneath it. Problems here for Ankara. There's uh, just some mistakes creeping in here that we didn't just see in the first two sets. Volkan gets down to it. It's good serving from uh, Robert Landy Simon. An 
off-speed serve that uh, just caught the reception unit. Just a little bit cold. Here we go. Chance in transition. Liao out the back this time. And these will be moments that Kovac is playing for. Or praying, sorry. Moments where the big hitters just start to go a little bit missing. Went full send on that one, Liao. But to no avail. Scanferla balls into a perfect spot. Second tempo attack through the pipe and it's just turned away from the body. Volkan uh, hasn't got near one of these uh, tips back to position four, is he? From Engapeth or uh, from Rachina. Brizard. Great serve. Rocked out of system again here, Ankara. Piacenza are getting better and better, but Namir crunches one. Cross court. I haven't got the passing stats in front of me, but I'd be interested to know uh, some details about the Ankara pass throughout these last two sets because uh, Piacenza look like they're getting the ball in and Two tips in a row. Michael Mars absolutely furious. Vulcan somehow managed to run from five to one to try and get a hand on that one. But the height that... The outsides operate out here. Tip is always uh, going to cause trouble. They are back to the right side. Oh, hang on. We could have some problems here. Engapet has just let his emotions get the better of him. He slapped the net, and this is really dangerous at the moment for Ankara. Let's have another look. Perrin, huge play from. Well, there's no block, there's no touch on the net from here. Let's have a look at the decision that was made. Off the hands of Liao. It's a reaction from Engapeth that might be problematic here. No cards. Interesting. You'd say that Engapath maybe just uh, just got away with that one. Uli. <laughs> Interesting to hear your reactions uh, on that call. Remember, you could join the conversation online. Do you agree with that call? And how do you feel about uh, Engapeth getting psyched up now? Like it was a handling call in the end from uh, the referee. To me, it looked... Uh, in an okay spot, Perrin's shut down though this time. Nothing to complain about. Defense from Engapeth who's now absolutely firing on all cylinders. That's maybe the spark that he needed to get the evening back on track. And uh, funny enough here, can't get too carried away because uh, it's only a one point game. Even though it feels like uh, Piacenza are in control. I do feel that Anchor is sort of forcing the intensity a little bit here. Hammer of a serve. 
It's a huge moment in this set. And I think that Piacenza know that. Scanfola wasn't perfect, but it was absolute perfection at the same time. Wrestled that ball in and allowed Piacenza to sign out. High and wide, Namir. Phenomenal cover from Ankara, but they're coming again here, Piacenza. Robert Landy, Simon is getting into this game. And that's trouble. Leal. Pass is set. Whoa. Okay, if uh, Perrin's last point wasn't okay, is this one okay? High and fast turning it over. The left shoulder crossbody swing. Engerpen. He's shot down. Rizard is in the game. And I think I mentioned at the end of the second it was either going to be 3 0 or I believe they would go to 5. Piacenza. I'm not letting this game get away from them. Machina. Once again, he's uh, made some good contributions, but even from the service line, he's adding to the game and radiating it in so many different ways. That change, Liao to opposite, Vecina into the wing spiking role. A big, big difference here for Piacenza. It's given them that spark that they needed. Rizard, back to the middle. And you've got to love it when Robert Landy Simon is on this sort of form. Brizard again, he's way off and he just pings it into the middle. He has to stay very quick with the hands there. Can't slow anything down. Good width. Engerpeth again. Tries to swap him back off the hand. Second opportunity. Namir. Ferocious. That one's been uh, brought back, but to no avail. Namir is uh, still looking around puzzled. Engerpeth again in those situations. Just takes the creative way uh, through this. Tipping off the middle blocker. Has to work incredibly hard one way and then another. Service pressure incoming again from Ankara. You feel that they're way behind in this game, but it's only a two-point game at the moment. Lucarelli certainly helping hold things together for Piacenza. And at the moment, you have Lucarelli who's hot, Liao that's hot, Simon that's hot, and for the blockers, it's going to be very, very difficult. Brizard's distribution has been good. Through the pipe this time. And Stasi shrugs his shoulders and says that's fine. Pass from Perrin is uh, golden, but then to get up again and from that pipe attack to keep that ball out of uh, position six is the main aim there and Perrin just brings it back to position one. Rizard again. And Lucarelli on the 10. You have to say, uh, playing with three outsides at the moment is certainly working for Anastasi's team. 80% Lucarelli. Efficiency. 
some return for his evening. Piacenza again by two. Volleyball starting to increase in the level again. Engerpeth, have a look here. Off the ball, comes in looking to position six, position one, and then turns it off body. Which is a swing that we know he uh, only has too well. Ulu. Massive chance, on two. Dick from Piacenza is uh, strong, but it's only coming back with a free ball. Another opportunity. Super tight. They don't quite take care of that. Anchor it, but they do score. And in the context of this game, that is a huge, huge play. And a huge point. Engerpeth on two. We've seen that so often. And it's good enough just to uh, put Piacenza out of rhythm. Second time coming. Matic. Michael Maher does a great job in the end of tidying up that free ball pass. No way. Hold banker everywhere. Digging their heels in here. Second chance to the outside. That's kept up. First time of asking. But it's a point for Piacenza. This is turning into some game. And this is almost exactly what we expected off the bat early doors. Scanfale just rolls that one in. A one-on-one -on -one situation on the wing. And uh, Orochena was uh, maybe left because uh, of the other options on show for the blockers to take. But in that one-on-one -on -one situation, he's certainly proven his worth. Matic. Okay. When that man comes back into the game, everything is going the way that Ankara would like. He'd have been too quiet for Kovac's liking over the last uh, set or so, and now that turned back to the line. Blizzard knew he was on it. A huge point in this game is Namir's serve. And that's twice in this set that they've managed to uh, get him off the service line pretty quickly. Good patience in the pass uh, from Luca Reddy. Just to uh, settle himself with that big net touch from the ball. Liao passes slightly off to the outside. Perrin scores again off the block. Hold on to your hats. This is going to be a uh, very, very close final third of the set. Error from Liao. Not the first time that we've seen him struggle getting the ball to the line here. Bazaar tries to look to the outside before feeding it, and that one's missed. Watch out, Kovic. That's a huge, huge error. Ankara take the lead again. Perrin. Well, this time, Liao's fed again and he makes no mistake through the seam. It's a good play, I think, for Imbrizar just to give the ball back. Try and get Liao on a heater as quickly as possible. Regina serves a short one on Matic. Just one way to get him out of the attack, but you have to try and subdue Engerpeth as well. Wide. What? Luca Rally. We've seen a couple of huge plays from Luca Rally, and that could be the biggest one of the evening so far. Into the sharp angle, Engerpeth can get nowhere near it. Nineteen all. 
Michael Moore feeding the middle once again. Matic, uh, when fed, feasts. Pacino with a, a little bit of a off-speed play. Back set from Mars, a good one, turning it away from the block. Uh, Matic, and at 2.11, he's uh, an absolute force out there, isn't he? XG comes in. Just a serving substitution. It's a game of small margins, and service substitutions could make the difference at the moment. The experienced uh, second setter with the serve, Ekshi. Tip over the top of the block once more. Well, down the side of Mar. There's a slight mismatch there, Mar on the outside. Piacenza do a good job. Robert Landy Simon looks uh, composed. Only five points this evening, though. Scored 15 at the weekend against uh, Perugia. It's a great set for Mar, just in front of uh, Namir Abdulaziz, and he puts the ball away. Have a look here, good width. It's a long, long run up, isn't it? He just stays so aggressive, fast with the arm and through the ball. Rizard from far right. Didn't have any other option to go to Lucarelli, but the set still had to be right, didn't it? We've seen balls here get so tight already, but flings his hands towards it. It's an outrageous set. Absolutely outrageous set from Rizard. And you feel like it's uh, taken till now, this very point, for this game to really heat up. All three sets very one sided. And if Piacenza take this to a fifth, you couldn't bet against them, surely. Grizzard changes uh, where he's serving from, his service position, and makes an error. Engerpeth. It's a big serve and a big time from Engerpeth. It's a big block and a big time from Ankara. Paul Perry. Not for the first time and not for the last time. Could be a hero this evening. It's a game changing play, serving out of system. Making a block on Piacenza. Ankara take the lead. moments like this you need your experienced players to step up and Engelpath certainly has the resume to do this and it's another colossal serve from Engelpath they have to hit their way out of system again and it's an oh hang on has the play been called back three up in the block Well, the fans are still cheering here. Ulu and Perrin, with Engapes serve, take Ankara within two points of victory. Engapes has come to the forefront of this one at clutch.
Engerpet in his first Champions League game for his new side. He's just helped pull them away by two. Timeout's being called to disrupt his rhythm. Can Engerpeth unleash another one? Yes, he can. And it's enough to take the middle out of the game from Piacenza. Engerpeth playing defense. This is a huge time. They go to Perrin. And of course, it's the consistent Perrin that puts the ball away with the tip. Ankara have three match points. Engerpeth serve. Engerpeth's defense. He's on an absolute heater at the moment. Engapes serving. Three match points for Ankara. And what a way to finish it. Engapes with an ace for Ankara to win away at Piacenza on his Champions League debut for the club. What a story for Holtback Ankara after a third place finish last year. They've come to Piacenza, many people's favourites for this competition and beating them three sets to one. Heroic serving from Engerpeth at clutch. And in true Engerpeth fashion, he finds a sideline when he needs one the most. That's why Ankara have signed him. But it was a true, true team effort. Micah Mart setting wonderfully well. The middles were superb. Namir certainly proved his worth to this team again. And then... John Gord Perrin, consistent as ever on the outside. Well, Piacenza, their first Champions League game ever ends in disappointment in front of their home fans. And it means three defeats in a row after losing to Perugia and Trentino in the league. 3-1 was the score. Ankara have defeated Piacenza in Piacenza in what was a heroic performance all round from them. Undefeated in the league, one from one in the Champions League. Just that Super Cup loss to Zirat a few weeks ago. Well, Anastasi doesn't look too happy because his side have gone down 3-1 at home to Hogback Ankara. 23 errors to 25. The aces and the attacking, the two key components of that performance. that fourth set was on another level and the good news is is that these teams will see each other again in the Champions League they still have uh, home and away legs against Berlin and Benfica as well but Group C is off to a very very entertaining start Surprise, yes. Upset, maybe. Who knows? But as we have a look, Ankara are top of the table. Berlin and Benfica go head to head as well. I tell you what, I think that return fixture could be one to certainly keep your eye on as well. Some superstar performances. Engerpeth at the end. 
is just so good in those big moments, isn't he? Erwin Capet, MVP of the match. Uh, what does this victory mean for you? It's good for us. We know we have great game, great game in the championship Turkey, but we know it's not the same level. And it was important for us to, to know if we can play against a team like Piacenza. And today uh, we, are, we make a great game. We prepare very good this game. To be honest, we know the, the last game of Piacenza, they make five sets against Perugia, big game. I think they are a little bit tired about this. And uh, we just provide about, about this. We make a perfect game today. So we are happy. MVP, Evan Engerpeth, and he totally deserves it for stepping up the whole way through that game. He's right. The five-setter at the weekend, there could be a little bit of a hangover, a lot of the same faces playing on the court this evening as we played against Perugia a few days ago. But for Namir and Engerpeth, it was a night to remember. Gironi playing on the right side didn't quite work for the first two sets. And it's Ankara that leave with all the points here in the Champions League. A phenomenal evening where Ankara will leave smiling thanks to Irvin Engerpeth.